<laughs> you were restless last night. Sorry, did I wake you? Only a couple, well, three, four times. Not that you were counting. You see, this is what Jim does to me. I kept playing it over and over in my mind, seeing him in that visiting room and thinking of all the excuses he's going to make to blame other people. It's not too late to pull out. No, I made a promise. Does Steve know yet? Oh, that smell is making me hungry. <laughs> I wonder if there's any cereal left. Have mine. I'm going to make a sausage butty. Oh, mate, you didn't have to do that. Thank you. <sighs> He's growing on me, you know. Mm. Listen, um, what are you doing today? Because Janet from the brewery wants to pop in. Oh, I'm busy this afternoon. Well, what are you doing? Because I'm in my cab all day, because we short up a few drivers. I, I, I've got some stuff to sort out. What does it have to be this afternoon? <sighs> I'm going to go see you, Dad. All right. I know I made a song and dance about you going last week. Well, look, if you're going to tell him to stay away from me, don't bother, because I'm not going back there. No, it's not that. It's Peter. Well, Deirdre, really. Do you think she's guilt-tripping you? No. No, it's my decision. Excuse me, what's this got to do with Deirdre? Peter's been really badly beaten up, and she thinks it's because he's got on the wrong side of Jim. This is my fault. I grassed him up to the car. I was so wound up, I wasn't thinking straight. Hey, you did all you could. Come on. Luke at the garage. Fingers crossed, I've still got a business. Well, Elizabeth. I knew you'd come back. Yeah, well, uh, before you get carried away, I'm here for Deirdre. What did you do to Peter Barlow? Me? I never laid a finger on him. Well, yeah, but you set your attack dogs on him. Listen, I don't want any lies, any excuses. Just from now on, leave Peter alone. Look, I don't pull the strings in here. I mean, look. Booze is pretty hard to come by in prison. And Peter annoyed a lot of people when he stopped the supply, so he did. What about Ken and Deirdre? You say you care about family. They're Amy's grandparents. And every waking second, they are worried sick about what's going to happen to Peter next. Right, OK. I'll have a word. But that's all I can do. Well, you need to do better than that. Well, now, that depends. I mean, what's in it for me? Is it not enough just for once to do the right thing? I'll do it. But you've got to do something for me. This is ridiculous. What do you want? I want regular visits from you. No, absolutely not. OK. Well, let's think about Ken and Deirdre, shall we? I mean, how do you think they'd feel if Peter got beaten up again just before his trial? No, 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 Elizabeth, sorry, no. I'm sorry. Sorry, boss, sorry. Sit down. Please. Elizabeth, it's killing me in here. Every day, I get to watch people going to visit their families, their wives, and all I do is sit and stare at the same four walls. I've lost everything. I've lost you, the kids, Amy. Look, I know you're never going to love me like the way you used to, but if I could... Hey, if I could just get you to... Visit, and give me something to hang on to. Being locked up in here has made you even more twisted. 
Oh, I'm not proud of myself. But if the only way I can get a visitor is by blackmail, then so be it. That's how desperate I am. Let's start wrapping you up now. So what do you think? I'll do it. You mean it? But if anything else happens to Peter, that is it. No, mate, listen. How'd you get on with me, Dad? He is as infuriating as ever. Is he, um... Is he gonna leave Peter alone now? Uh, yeah, he reckons he can get him to lay off. No, is he, uh, is he, is he he's not back in hospital, is he? Oh, not as far as I know. I think they just roughed him up a bit. He'll be fine. Yeah, well, you've done what you've had to do. Forget about it, I'm not 